Hi everyone, Oleg here, and I'm traveling back across the U.S. from Bellingham, Washington, back to Media, Pennsylvania, where I live, and will be training in New Jersey with my dance partner, Ashley. Right now, I'm at Lake Coeur d'Alene in Idaho, and I got a brand new video for you today. I hope you like it. But first, I'd like to thank an anonymous supporter for supporting our skating. And if you like to support our skating, click on the link in the comments below. Today we're looking at the backward half swizzles on a circle. In hockey they're called C cuts and half moon cuts. If you are a hockey player, keep in mind that what I say in this video is from a figure skating perspective. This exercise can be used to improve one's knee and ankle action, to help prepare for doing backward crossovers, and to improve one's backward skating. Skate through your heels. The pumping is done mostly from the outer foot but the press and rise from the inner foot helps as well. In this video, I press into my knees and ankles, pump and squeeze myself straight up, then press again. There are different types of knee and ankle action you can use for this exercise, but I want you to practice this knee and ankle action as it teaches you greater control over your knees and ankles. If you hear scratching, then you're up on your toe picks. Avoid pitching toward your toes. Your body has an axis that runs through it, the shoulder, hip, and heel axis. Maintain this axis the entire time. Avoid breaking at the waist or sticking your hips out. Keep your upper body rotated to the circle you are on. Your arms should be level with your shoulders. Now on to today's big idea. Today's big idea is that there is more than one way to do something in skating. Sometimes skaters get fixated on what is the correct way to do something such as which way the arms have to be held on outside edge exercises, or what knee and ankle action is correct when doing crossovers. Having been taught by many different coaches, including six Olympians, I will say that there isn't so much a correct or incorrect way of doing something. Rather, there are more efficient and less efficient ways. And this is further blurred when one skates a program, as choreography often requires one to do steps in a less efficient way. What I mean by this is that if a program was choreographed only around efficiency, then it would look like a series of sequences from moves in the field. But getting back to the point, first learn what your coach is teaching as their system. Then learn other systems you encounter. Take what works best for you, while keeping in mind that higher techniques take time and can feel less efficient initially. That's it for this video, but there's so much more. Join me for a lesson on my talk show, I Stand Stroll League Live. For times and previous episodes, check out my Patreon, links in the video description. Climate change is here, and it's an existential threat to much of life on Earth, as well as humanity's long-term survival. So get the word out, get involved, and get others involved. Or there may not be a future for humanity. Even if we fail to stop climate change, pollution, and habitat destruction, we can still buy time for the present and future generations, and that alone makes it worth fighting for.